An officer attacked and beaten inside of the Harris County Jail. It is one of several concerning incidents we've reported on over the last couple of months. Fox 26 is Matthew Seedorf in the studio here tonight after speaking with the injured officer. So, Matthew, how's he doing? Well, Anthony, that 28 year old is recovering tonight. He had been about to celebrate his birthday with his fiance and kids. Now he's hoping that something is done to make the jail safer for everyone. New disturbing images of a Harris County detention officer bruised and beaten from an attack inside the Harris County Jail. The worst case scenario, you know, I could have died. You know, according to others, you know, I flatlined, but I was brought back. Officer Jay Valdivias speaking with us from the phone as he recovers from Friday's fight. The 28-year-old now has a broken nose and bruised ribs. I was getting ready for my birthday week, you know, but this is, this is what happens. The officer had been on the floor for violent offenders, and as he was walking downstairs, Christian Dillard came up from behind. According to court records, the 23-year-old inmate has a long list of criminal offenses, including capital murder. He's been in jail since 2020. Most recently, he's accused of assaulting law enforcement members at least four times in the last seven years. I just remember my head hitting, you know, several things on the way down. I know once... I made it down the stairwell, was completely out. Some will still be internal things that we've got to tighten up procedure-wise and protocol-wise. For months, Fox 26 has reported on safety issues and overcrowding in the jail. You've got some suicides. You've got some homicides. You've got neglect. Last year, 28 inmates died in Harris County Jail, the most ever. If we would have had a better control of how we staff our personnel or how we staff every floor in general, I'm pretty sure this situation could have been avoided. Sheriff Ed Gonzalez tweeting this Monday afternoon saying we work hard to make our jails safe for everyone who lives and works there. That's no easy task in an overcrowded facility that houses more than 800 people charged with murder or capital murder. And that injured officer says he plans to keep working at the Harris County Jail. Dillard, the inmate, is expected in court tomorrow. Live in the studio, Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26.